Howdy. The next thing we're going to look at is network security groups. These allow us to restrict traffic in and out of maybe our subnets or our virtual machines or other resources. So let's say we had a we have a web server like what we're going to be building. You know, we want to be able to allow ports. We want to be able to allow the outside to to access our web server to you know, we need to be able to serve our web page to anybody in the world. So we need to allow that traffic into our virtual network, essentially. But we want to make sure it's limited. We only want to allow certain allow that traffic to maybe, say, one subnet that we have. So we can kind of do that with a security group. Uh, same thing if we want to allow people to be able to access, you know, be able to log into our server, like our virtual machine. So maybe they want to we want to allow certain people to SSH into it. You know, we can we can we can specify that, you know, certain people can SSH into it. Maybe maybe we only allow certain people at certain IPs can can access certain things. Uh, so, so let's let's look into that now. So let's search for our network security groups. And if you've been following along, you know, some of this stuff might not make sense, but as we start applying it to, to virtual machines and such, it'll start making a, a little bit more sense on why, why we are going through these initial setup steps for everything. All right, so I have no network security groups set up yet, so let's add one. Again, our, our subscription, we're using Azure Course. And our resource group, we're going to use the existing uh, course resource group. And then a name. So you could name it anything you want. Let's do, um, let's just name it for, let's just name it, I don't know, web server SG, as secu web server security group. And since we're keeping everything in East US, we're going to want to keep this in East US as well. Like since we have other things like already East US, we don't want to put East or West Central US. Let's just keep everything there. So that's basically all the initial things that we need here. So let's, we could add tags if we want, but we don't We don't really need to do that. So let's just review and create. I'm gonna do some validation. And validation passed. So let's create. All right, so, so that's, that's creating might take just a second and it's already done. All right. So that's created. Let's go to the resource. So, so we can see if we go back to our resource groups. Oh, you might notice this network watcher resource group. We didn't add that, but that just automatically appeared. What that does is that that will automatically appear when you create a new virtual network. Uh, it basically just adds some things, some monitoring and, and logging and helps troubleshoot any, any issues that that might come up. So you can kind of ignore that for now, but you, you'll you'll notice that pop up automatically. All right. So now we have in our resource group, we have a virtual network and we have a security group. So let's go to our security group. So by default, it's going it, to the, the security groups are going to restrict access to the outside world. So basically right now it's only allowing access here from an Azure load balancer or, or inside of our virtual network. So if you're inside of our virtual network, the security group will allow you to communicate um, with your resources. But really this security group is just sitting there. It's not doing anything yet. We're not blocking any subnets or we're not blocking any virtual machines or anything like that. But what we're we gonna do with this security group is we're going to use this for our our web server. So, so what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to let in uh, port eighty and port four four three. Port eighty is the main HTTP port, and then four four three is for your HTTPS port. Uh, so, so we, we want to let that in. So, so let's add, let's add an, a security rule for that. And if you look at the priority, how it has 65,000, 65,001, it will execute 
those priority it'll it'll execute the, the rules in in the in the lowest priority first so basically if so so let's just let's just add something to to make that clear which like you you can see how deny all so so that's the highest priority so by default everything is denied to the to this security group and then the the lower priorities we go, it starts allowing certain things. So basically, you have to opt in to allow things to your to your security group. So so let's let's open the security group up to uh, port eighty and port four four three, and and the source is we're gonna do any, but you can also do an IP address if you want. So you could specify that like the source has to be so so maybe you only want to let you know it if, if you're at home and your IP address maybe you only want to allow people from your house access this web server. You could do so by by specifying an IP address here. But let's let's just choose source any. Uh let's see. So let's do port port 80 here. That uh, destination any and let's just do 80. We'll do protocol any. So action, we're going to allow it. So you can specifically deny that 80 if you want. Um, we need to, so we'll keep the priority at 100. So you see the priority here is going to come before all of these. So so this is going to get executed before all, all of these. Let's just change that. Let's let's add that. All right, so that's adding. So let's let's add four four three as we're here, because we're going to end up. This security group is going to be attached to our subnet and our our web server to allow traffic. So we're just setting this up before we do all that. All right, let's just change the name here four four three. Let's give it a priority of one hundred one, and we'll allow all all traffic to that from that port. All right, perfect. So, so we've got our security group set up. So, what we can do with a security group is we can we can attach it to either let's say a um, a virtual machine, or we can attach it directly to a subnet. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to attach it to a subnet. So let's go back to our our virtual network here. Let's find our subnets. So we initially created a subnet for our application gateway, which is our load balancer, which we haven't gotten to, and then our backend pool, so the load balancer. We haven't gotten to that either. We'll use these subnets later on, but let's create a, create a subnet if we're going to be just for our web server. So let's just say we just want to create a very basic web server. You know, there's not much traffic. It's kind of for personal use. Um, let, let's just let's just do that now. So let's just do web server subnet and we can do we'll, we'll just keep this default the 10.0.2.0 so we're going to give it it'll have 251 addresses we're not going to need that many so we could even do you know we can do that if we wanted to i'm just going to put 25 you never know um we can do that so then you see i have an option here of network security group we're going to add link that security group we just created here so what that, that basically means is any resource that's attached to this subnet now has these security group rules applied. So, so in a later video, we're going to attach this subnet to our, our virtual machine, which means since that virtual machine has that subnet, we're basically saying that's going to, this is a public subnet. So the outside world can access this subnet on port 443 and port 80. All right, so that's creating now. And you can also, like what we might do too when we create our virtual network, we may modify this this security group that we created. And we may add uh, port 22 as well so we can SSH to the, to the web server. In a production environment, you probably wouldn't want to do that. But just for example purposes, we might, um, we might do that.
And as you can see, it's it's our our new subnet has been created with our our security group of web server security group. And and now we're, we are we're good. So now so so we're starting we're making things secure by default at the moment. You know, so we've got our virtual network and we've got our security group and our security group is restricting only allowing traffic for the, for the web server uh, at this point. And we will begin to start using the subnet and the security group and the virtual network for our virtual machines uh, in the upcoming videos.